For Avgeeks, the destruction of the world's largest airliner was one of the key images at the start of the Russian invasion of Ukraine. In February, the Antonov and 225 was attacked at its base in Hostomel, near Kiev. Now it looks like they've stayed true to their word, as the company announced plans to rebuild are already underway. Nicknamed Maria, Ukrainian 4 Dream, the giant plane was built in the 1980s to transport the Soviet space shuttle. Its later life, while a little less glamorous, was just as iconic, it was the world's largest cargo transporter, with roughly twice the loading capacity of a Boeing 747 and achieved cult status among self-proclaimed Avgeeks. It stretched to 84 meters or 275 feet and had the longest wingspan of any fully operational aircraft. To date, it is the heaviest aircraft ever built. The plane's nose was hit directly, according to CNN journalist Vasco Cotivio, who saw it in April. Its destruction was announced on February 27, 2022, with Ukrainian Foreign Minister Dmitro Kuleba tweeting that, Russia may have destroyed our Maria, but they will never be able to destroy our dream of a strong, free and democratic European state. The Antonov company said at the time that it could not verify the condition of the plane, while CNN journalist Vasco Katovio noted that the nose appeared to have taken a direct artillery hit and was completely destroyed when he saw it on a visit in April. There was extensive damage to the wings and some of the engines. The tail end section was spared from any large impacts and has a few holes caused by either shrapnel or bullets, he said at the time, predicting that repair was unlikely. However, on Monday, the Antonov company announced in a tweet that the conversion project had already begun, with design work already on the horizon. While the repair costs were estimated, the company projected a bill of over 500 million euros, 502 million dollars, to get it back in the air and promised more information after the victory. The company already has around 30% of the components needed to build a new device, it said. Originally, Ukraine's state defense company Ukroboronprom, which manages Antonov, issued a statement estimating the restoration at over $3 billion, and promised to ask Russia to pay. It was said at the time that reconstruction would take at least five years. Rebuilding will cost more than $502 million, the company said. The announcement coincides with the launch of an exhibition dedicated to the aircraft at leipzig halle Airport in Germany, which is home to five other Antonov aircraft. Light and Shadow, the Antonov story, shows photos of the aircraft before and after its destruction, focusing on the engineering prowess that was lost when it was attacked. It can be seen until the end of December. At the opening, Alexei Makiv, ambassador of Ukraine to Germany, announced in a statement released by the company that he had flown with almost all an aircraft, the Maria remained a dream for me. We hope that it will be restored and we will see this mighty bird in the sky again, he added. In the meantime, if you're missing Maria, you can build your own, or at least your own model. Ukrainian startup Metal Time sells working mechanical design kits of the N-225. Each costs $99, and profits go directly to Antonov to fund Maria's rebuilding, as well as relocating Antonov employees whose homes were destroyed by the Russian invasion and training new Ukrainian pilots and aeronautical engineers.